friends, if you are in the same position as I am and you have a very hard time finding solid, reliable data on COVID um, and you are always dependent on some uh, unreliable press releases from some uh, unproven sources, then let me help you today. I will show you where to find the official COVID statistics for Europe um, and um, I will get you, point you to the right direction that will show you where to find it and how hard it is to retrieve the data. Um, this data is really very hidden and um, apparently the people responsible do not want you to see this. So um, let me show you how to get there. Here on adrreports.eu you have two buttons, human and veterinary, and you go to the human side. And this is where you get access to the Oracle database with all the data. My UDRA vigilance page here, which is the European database for suspected adverse drug reaction reports. I can submit a report if I had side effects during my vaccine, um, or I can search for a report and I go here and I'm looking for substances. Make sure you look on this uh, section here because under products you will not find anything and search for COVID. Now I'm going down here, you see we have a very long list and somewhere down here I have my COVID-19 vaccines. Moderna, Pfizer, AstraZeneca and Janssen. I'll start with the first one and I want to look for fatalities, for death. There we go, here we have our page. Now this page is not really what I want to look at. We have a lot of statistics. I invite you to have a closer look at them. Uh, they are all quite a horror story. We will need to use line listing. You see, this is the, the um, page we need. And um, I will click on it. This will open the search window to the database. Here we go. Now we have different uh, search parameters that we can choose here. And I'm looking for fatalities, death. So I will go down here. And I will not find anything here. So I need to go into more. And then I have a, another window that opens, which gives me more detailed reports. Now I will not find death in any of these here. We'll have to scroll down to the seventh page. Or I can type in death here. And finally, it doesn't give me anything. It took me a while to figure out that I have to take out match case. And then I get the keyword that I want, death, and I will do my query on this one and I run my line listing. The website is very slow. Need some time. Here we go. All right, and here I have now all the different cases. Here we have 25 pages. I may screen pull this up a bit. I go down here, you see I have 25 pages of, of these, these stories. Now if I, uh, I can export this page and I can take it to Excel. If I export it like this, I will have lots of different lines. I will not be able to count how many lines I have. I go to data and export it as an Excel here. If you go through Excel directly, you get scrambled data. So you have to go to data, Excel, and then open it. First save it and then open it in Excel and then you will see you can count the number of cases. I'll allow this. My page with the fatalities for the Moderna vaccine. We already have quite a lot here. And let me see where this ends. Um, 1,100, 1,200, 1,352 deaths already today. I've gone on and I've uh, searched the page today, this database, and I've come up with a set of statistics that I will show you now. Serious adverse reactions to the different um, vaccines. Uh, you see Moderna has um, uh, 20,876, Pfizer has 77,505, and look at AstraZeneca, 140,000 adverse 
reactions, severe adverse reactions. This means people have been hospitalized, people have been and might still be in seriously sick. Uh, Janssen has only 3,000 cases, but this is probably down to the very low number of vac vaccinations that they've done with this uh, substance. The total is nearly 250,000 cases in Europe, and this is colossal. Now let's take a look at the death rate and see how that fares here. The most deadly vaccine, and now I, haven't, I don't have the numbers we should compare to the quantity of vaccines uh, given. Uh, the number one is Moderna with 1,352 fatalities. Pfizer has 912. That is still a solid number, colossal. And AstraZeneca has 453. Janssen, new on the market, is still fairly innocent with 107 cases. The total is nearly 3,000 death in, in the EU. And these are official EU numbers. One has to expect that one in five or even one in ten cases are reported. And probably the, quant the, the number is much, much higher. And let us... Um, get this information out to as many people as possible uh, so we can have a proper discussion about this subject. It's important to stay informed and these numbers are official. Thank you very much for listening.